Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Dutchman Plays Mahjong Soul. We're going to be doing our dailies for Peerless Ichihime. We have some missions to complete just to play a match it today. Then, oh, these are actually completed already. So that's cool, even if you play more games than um, necessary for the day, it still counts towards your uh, missions for the next days. That's, uh, that's really cool. Aside from the daily plays, of course. In which case, we said we're going to max out our basic training because that works on all of our attacks. And then we'll go and even spread on all of our other skills. Let's get our match going. We just need to play a day as uh, oh, some event rewards. Just for playing during the summer. Gonna hop into... Actually, we're still at depth 3. Um, we did promote last game. Yay for me. So we're gonna... Obviously get... A string of terrible fourths in a row and demote back down to adept 2. But... With a bit of luck and perhaps some skill, we'll be able to hold on to our new ranking. As you can tell from the name of the series, this is a ladder grind. We are hoping to make it to expert and above eventually. So... Ah, West takes West, of course. But what are you gonna do? Drop the one man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Cut the two. I'm thinking we'll pair the ones, pull in the reds, then we have a Rian man, a Penchan, and a Rian Khan. Uh, door on my five now, that's nice to see. I'll keep the three over the east. As long as I don't get a two, I won't end up for a ten. Okay. Uh, I've got a pair in the ones already, so I don't need that. Please don't be Honitsu. Okay. You did manage to get Dora 2 from your con. Of course. Uh, now whenever I con, I never get anything out of it. And that's confirmation bias. And I'm sticking to it. We got a really good Honitsu hand here though. Pulling the reds, pulling the nines. Uh, Rian Man on the 6-7 here. Anything that connects to the 1, be it either... Uh, we want that. This is 2 Han, 3 Han. If we get the reds, which we hopefully will. Started with 2 of them, it'd be a real shame if we didn't. Uh, Dora 3, so... So there's a chance to improve in that direction as well. Uh, West is an honor, so we keep it. And it's safe to the guy across as well. Ooh, I could take the uh, the last West for the win. But a single Tanki, I think, is kind of just a bit too risky. And it's not like it's a value, either. That's the best we can ask for. We're now Tenpai on the three. That makes up for losing the reds. Anyone who thinks I'm going for half flush would see my overflow and be wary. 
Dang, two greens in a row. Would we open for the reds? Open on the reds, drop the two. The one so tonky. If we draw the three, it connects into our... I like being able to win on the reds. It turns it in from a two hun hand into a three hun hand. We didn't lose any number of tiles from our acceptance. There was four threes as far as we know. And then there's four two reds and two ones. So the same number of tiles. We got three Han without the reds, four Han with the reds. Unfortunately, I can't take that. If we had stolen that three, we would have had to keep our six due to the rules. Uh, oh. Not a value. You want souths? Nope. Not reds. So he needs whites or greens. And he opened with it, so he's probably... Got a pair ready to steal. But it's not whites either. So it's gotta be half flush or a toy toy. So he needs Manzu. If he's doing half flush, why did he drop his north? If it's a single floater, I guess, but. East. I forgot it was East round. Oops. Uh, our hand's not looking great. Two blocks, three blocks, fourth. That's a penchon. These guys are all eating each other. I don't have anything up or down on the Manzu here. Uh, nah. I just can't use that. Yeah, and unless it's probably ready, we can just play it safe, let him hit someone else. In which case, our five pins are a safe discard. We can throw the five pin because they're our pair. We've well, already got a pair in the five so as well to make up for it. Uh, the twos are now safe to both, so we'll drop those instead. The threes are safe for both, unless again the left switches. He did switch, so three is not necessarily safe to the left. Although he does have the six, the twos are Kaved. Threes are probably safe. Yeah. It's 
South Wind is available for a Tonki. And from what I've seen of our opponents, it's definitely on the table. Six pin. There's the last south. We can throw ours now. Uh, one pin's all around. So that'll bring that guy down. We can jump on him for a couple thousand points and take third. Um, south for me. Sounds good. Got some great shapes. Let's drop this west. One block, two block, three block, four. Probably dropping east. We'll open on that. Door is seven mon. We can't accept it anyway. Uh, three and seven are the floaters. Draw three on the inside here. Or five. Don't worry, I got this, buddy. Nine. And now... It accepts a 7, but it's too far away from what we're doing. Was the guy to the left actually upset that I took the south? They're my wind, after all. Doesn't necessarily mean my head is going fast. Just that I'm available. Alright, that works better than... Uh, floater. We now accept threes and fours. Dang it. Get out of here. Alright. There's the four. Now we can cut the three. We can cut the two. Steal for Tenpai. It'd bring us to a Shabone. Or a pwn it and take a 3-6. I like the 3-6. I think it's sneaky. We see two sixes out there. I have three of the threes. This is suddenly looking like a very bad idea, but someone did it. Nice. Got him. So that puts us into south round. Good shapes, we'll cut the west. Nothing. One block, two block, three block. North is weak. South and red are okay. I'd rather take the south just to deny it to the right, but... Hmm... Round men, Kanchan, but they eat each other. I don't know if I want to commit to that Kanchan yet. I think I want to leave 7 open in case I have to break apart these Sozu. Alright, that 8 is helpful. To the right? Okay, to the left, thank you. Uh, we can't open this hand. We have no use for one so anymore. These eights are kind of awkward as they're pushing me into a Shabone weight. The ones being dead, that's the one-sided, basically a Tonki weight even. So 
So Big, big Khan shines over there. Let's cut the eights. Keeping our Khan Chan and our Rian Men open. And we'll probably cut our second eight as well. After that call. Although one man... One month's pretty weak as well now. We'll keep the twos going. <coughs> Excuse me. Unfortunately, I have to pass that. I don't have a Yaku without staying closed. I'm gonna cut my one mon now. 3 5 accepts Dora. I'm worried about what's going on to my left and my right. Not worried enough to throw in my hand, apparently. Two sevens, three sevens are gone. This eight really is doing nothing. I'm gonna drop the eight now. Keep it safe. I think the white's gonna be a pretty safe discard. Well, not really. It's been a long time since anyone's dropped a white. And both the hands to the left and the right can use it. And I'm gonna start throwing. This hand isn't going anywhere. Whites were safe. Need to consider stealing for Tempai. So let's start opening up. Seven came out across. Lots of twos out there, so I might have to pwn this three. And Sumo to the left, that's fine. Unfortunately, third place pulls away from us. Hmm. Tough game, tough game. But that happens in Mahjong a lot. You make... Defensible moves, arguably the right moves. And it's just the other players are getting luckier than you. Like my hand, my other hand started with... A value wind as well. Mine didn't have four door in it though. Getting some uh, good draws here. Eight and nine are probably safe as well. So we'll do that. Kind of 
crawling our way towards a Chinitsu here. Which I have no objections to. We have to pass the 8 pin, which I think is a little risky. But there's two 7s out there. This 5 mon isn't technically safe either. The 2 pin was safe, the 2 pin was not safe. How do you make a Shinitsu out of this? One, two, three, four, five. And it's it's a long shot, as Shinitsu always is. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I had a three-sided weight. Just glad he didn't also get pink food by throwing those whites away. This is our weakest honor. The one connects to Dora. Four, five, six. Let's keep our options open on the Manzi there. We can drop one pin next. I don't mind that. The Sozu shape is interesting. And by interesting, I mean I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I want to use that 5, but I really need to draw a 6 in order for that even to be possible. Alternatively, it could become my Tonki weight. But that's not, that's easily, that's easier said than done as well. Every hair is looking like Chanta, but he's throwing away two ones and a white, so he's really screwed it up if he's planning on doing that. Okay, that opens us into a Kanchan. I'm going to stow my eight and nine. Tanya across probably. And I can Tanya as well. Tanya Dora at the moment. Keep the sevens as my pair. I'm glad I didn't pull that. I almost screwed up real bad there. Toy Toy Tanya, now that's a little bit better. Yeah, I might have left this Toy Toy only, which is uh, obviously a goof. He could have a pair of the twos, which is why he has the one three open. That guy's in first place, so he doesn't mind that he's not being efficient with his scoring. One block. Two block. This hand sucks. We've connected the door at least with a Ryan man. Drop the nine over the six. I don't want to open for that yet. I need a bit more value.
So it's going to be what? Whites and sixes? How are you getting value out of this if, it, if you're not having the whites open? It's a long shot, but it's more interesting than giving up. Not such a long shot anymore. So we pwned whites, we pwned reds, we drop the sixes while we do it. Show Sangan Dora. That's a man gun. That'll bring us back in the game if we can get it. Sixes are still hot, so we'll get those out of the way quickly. We're in last place. We can't afford to uh, crack under the pressure now. I think it's very likely these guys are going to sumo, yeah? What are you going to do? Oh, 1500, huh? I see a lot of Tanya tiles. Reach Tanya. Reach Tanya Dora. 1500. 8k direct would do it. With Reachy, I don't really have control over that, though. Reach Tanya Pinfui Peiko. Reach Tanya Pinfui Peiko. Dora. That's the five. It wouldn't be painful if we don't draw the two threes here. Mm. Reach Tanya Pinfu. Reach Tanya Pinfu door is only four and it rounds down. Or it doesn't round up to the manga we need. Can't open with it. Reach Tanya Dora 2. I guess it's actually ideal. I really like that hand. Gee, reach Urador chance? This hand ain't great. We'll never connect the 8 pin in a hand like this. Sanshoku, but I don't have either two or three. Their opponents are playing fast because they're in first. There's no reason they wouldn't. There go the fours. So our Ryaman is now a Penchan. Can't open his hand. She needs to? Again? All the doors in the Pinzu.
Drop that eight while it's safe. We pawn the sixes, draw the seven. You can cheat a three, use a four as the pair. Now, even with this Chinitsu, it's not enough. It'll help lessen the damage, though, so... Disappointing loss, but that's Mahjong, baby. It's not enough to demote us right off the bat. We started at like 200 points, but uh, not good. Just call that down 100 points. Did we win a hand? We did win one hand there. Back to our skill point. We have a single point. Doesn't do anything for us. Uh, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, click the like and subscribe button. It really helps small channels like this one grow and reach a wider audience. And I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Goodbye.